But first at 11, a shooting outside a church providing food for the community. Good evening and welcome to 7 Action News at 11. I'm Carolyn Clifford. And I'm Dave Llewellyn. The terror unfolded outside Nazarene Baptist Church on Melbourne Street on Detroit's west side. The shooter firing into a crowd of people at the church's daily food drive. 7 Action News reporter Peter Maxwell is at police headquarters tonight with the very latest on the search for the shooter and the victim's conditions. Well, those two victims are in temporary serious condition right now at a local hospital and Detroit police say that the shooter is still out there and should be considered armed and dangerous. Detroit police need your help tonight. Take a look at your screen. The clip is short, but police say that man dressed in all black with a white striped sweatshirt is responsible for shooting two people outside this church on Melbourne and Oakland, hiding behind this door and then takes off running, sending frantic churchgoers running and screaming. I'm just trying to be peaceful and help my family out, my friends, the neighborhood and the city in which I was raised. Steve says they were holding their daily food drive, giving back to the community that they love. They've been doing this food drive for the last two years to help folks in the area dealing with unemployment and now because of the COVID-19 pandemic, sharing the good, not the bad. Steve was inside the church kitchen when the shots rang out. Second Deputy Chief Rudy Harper with DPD says the church mentors young adults, helping them get off the streets and to give back to the community. Now they're looking into what led up to this. We're still trying to figure out what exactly happened. Investigators are working around the clock. Uh, we know that there was some type of confrontation with a group and that suspect that we're looking for fired into that group. Harris says this type of violence needs to stop. Doing God's work. We're not doing man's work, you know, but individuals have it on their mind that they're going to do what they want to do, no matter what the cost or who it hurts or who gets, you know what I mean, who gets hurt behind these actions that they take it. It don't matter to them, but we not buying it here, so the police going to take care of it. And Chief White did make a visit down to that church and promised churchgoers they will look into it. And if you do have any information, you're urged to call Crime Stoppers or Detroit Police. Reporting at DPD headquarters, I'm Peter Maxwell, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Peter.